B, whose real name is Russell Tyrone Jones, was an American rapper. He was also one of the founding members of the Wu-Tang Clan, a rap group primarily from Staten Island, New York City, which rose to the mainstream prominence with its 1993 debut album, Enter the Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. His professional success was hampered by frequent legal troubles, including incarceration. Unfortunately, he died on November 13, 2004, of an accidental drug overdose, two days before his 36th birthday. Old Dirty Bastard had an estimated net worth of $500,000. Old Dirty Bastard's Early Life Old Dirty Bastard was born on November 15, 1968, in the Fort Greene section of Brooklyn, New York City, and died on November 13, 2004, just before his birthday. Old Dirty Bastard and his cousins, Robert Diggs and Gary Grice, shared a taste for rap music and martial arts style movies. Soon, Old Dirty Bastard, Diggs, and Grice, Riza, and Giza, respectively formed the Group Force of the Imperial Master, which became known as All In Together Now. After their successful underground single of the same name, they eventually added six more members to their group, calling it the Wu-Tang Clan. The group released their debut album, Enter the Wu-Tang 36 Chambers, in 1993, receiving notable commercial and critical success. Old Dirty Bastard's Professional Career Old Dirty Bastard's solo career began March 28, 1995, at the age of 26. His first solo album, Return to the 36 Chambers, The Dirty Version, spawned the hit singles Brooklyn Zoo and Shimmy Shimmy Yeah which helped propel the album to platinum status. The album's sound was noted by several music writers as being as raw and gritty as 36 Chambers, with RZA and Fourth Disciple producing beats of an even more minimalist and stripped-down style than the underground group's debut album. On the same year, Old Dirty Bastard collaborated with Mariah Carey for the remix version of her single Fantasy. In 1997, Old Dirty Bastard appeared on the Wu-Tang Clan's second and most commercially successful work, the double album Wu-Tang Clan Forever. He had fewer appearances on this album than the group's debut, contributing to one solo track, Dog Shit, three verses, one hook, as high as Wu-Tang get, and a spoken introduction, refrain, triumph. In February 1998, Old Dirty Bastard witnessed a car accident from the window of his Brooklyn recording studio. He and a friend ran to the accident scene and rescued a girl with first and second degree burns. The evening following the traffic accident, Old Dirty Bastard rushed on stage unexpectedly as Sean Calvin took the stage to give her acceptance speech for Song of the Year at the 1998 Grammy Awards, and he announced he had recently purchased expensive clothes in anticipation of winning the Grammy Award for Best Rap Album, and he lost to Puff Daddy. In 1999, Old Dirty Bastard wrote and recorded his second studio album, Nigga Please. The album received notable commercial success, although it failed to parallel the critical success praise of his debut. This release included the single Got Your Money, which garnered worldwide chart success. The song was produced by the Neptunes and featured chorus vocals by R&B singer Kellis. The same year, Old Dirty Bastard was paid $30,000 to appear on Insane Clown Posse's fifth studio album, the Amazing Jekyll Brothers. Completing his track in two days, his recording consisted of his rambling about bitches, Insane Clown Posse re-recorded the track and re-edited Old Dirty Bastard's vocal in order to perform four rhymes out of his rambling, titling the song Bitches. In 2001, Old Dirty Bastard was jailed for crack cocaine possession. His record label, Elektra Records, made the decision to release a greatest hits album despite there being only two albums in his back catalog in order to both end their contract with the artist and the profit from the publicity garnered by his legal troubles. After the contract with Elektra was terminated, the label D3 Records released the album The Trials and Tribulations of Old Dirty Bastard in 2002, composed of tracks compiled without Old Dirty Bastard's input. In 2003, the day he was released from prison, Old Dirty Bastard signed a contract with Rockefeller Records. Living at his mother's home under house arrest and with a court-ordered probation, he used his criminal record to title his VH1 special, Inside Out, Old Dirty Bastard on Parole. He also managed to record his third album, A Son Unique, which was originally scheduled to be released through Dame Dash Music Group in 2004. However, 
the album was never been released. In October 2004, one month before his death, his last collaboration was with John B. on the track Every Time from the album Stronger Every Day. In 2005, five months after his death, he appeared posthumously on the song Blah 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 by Brooke Valentine on her debut album Chain Letter. On July 17, 2004, Old Dirty Bastard had his second of last live performances at the Rock of Bells Hip Hop Festival in San Bernardino, California with the rest of the Wu-Tang Clan. On July 18, 2004, his final live performance was at the Gathering of the Juggalos in Garrettsville, Ohio. And with that, thanks for watching. Give us a like, share with your friends, and please subscribe.